All right, over the Bowen Bridge we go. We got a kitchen remodel, piece of baseboard. I think to pop in another one to change out. Dishwasher, fridge. I came here, I did the demo. I added an ice box. What's an ice box? It goes behind the fridge and you hook the ice maker up to it. I call it an ice box. Shoot me in the comment section for that. Some of you are going to say, well, what are you doing right now? I'm hooking up the ice maker because there is a hard ceiling below. So I ran it through the studs and then just whipped out a 10-footer, whip it and clip it pecs behind the cabinets, got it into the kitchen sink. So now you can turn it on and off in there. Some of you are going to say, well, where's your hammer arrestor for it? That's behind the fridge. It's in the ice box. But what I did do was cap these two lines for the kitchen sink too short. One of them I was able to get, this one I couldn't. So I went in through the dishwasher side, I cut the toe kick out of the cabinet, and uh, we entered from there. <sighs> it was a tight spot, but hey, that's why I'm with your sister. Now that we got those things stubbed up, we're going to go back in there and we're going to hook up the dishwasher. And some of you are going to be complaining about the Pro Press stops that I'm using. You're never going to be able to change those out. Hear me out. In 15 years... When they need to be changed out, I'll probably be the guy to change them out. If not, I'm very sorry to the next guy who has to change them out. You're probably around the age of seven years old at this moment. So if you're watching this in 15 years, you're going to want to be an electrician instead. Now, here we go. We're going to the dry fit king. Why did I dry fit this? Because I wanted to make sure that I got it proper. I want it to look correct. And when you open up the cabinet, you should see artwork. You shouldn't see some tubular crap like some of you Georgia plumbers use. No offense, plumbing Lorian. I know you have no choice. But around here, we do have to have a choice. No choice as well to use this. Schedule 40. It's got to be all glued. I just put the level across the face of the trap because that thing's got to be square so it seats. I also add dope to the ground joint because I was taught. Now, I worked with at least 300 plumbers in the meantime of 15, 17 years, whatever it was, because there was always about 110, 130 people in the company I worked for. We all put dope on the ground joints, which is what you did. I don't care if you don't do it, but guess what? I do it. And if you're just learning on this shit right now and you're watching my movies, I guess you could say, put some dope on those ground joints. You won't, uh, you won't get a call back. It just helps seal. I don't know. Nowadays, nothing's made like it used to be. I believe the dope fills those cracks of 2023. You know what I mean? The homeowner told me that the last one, it drained slow. Plus, now this drain hasn't been used in about three months, two months. So, it's all dried up. Figured fill it up. I whipped out the K9 and uh, I sent her down the down the tube we got her cleared and uh what else are we talking about he also told me the old trap would always fall off the kitchen sink so i added that kickstand split ring and i screwed it to the cabinet so that thing's forever just like this piece of baseboard element somebody say would you just hammer in there so on element you got to use a vega press stiffener if you're going to be doing this in press and that's right you're seeing pecs involved as well you can use plastic vega pecs 90s on the heat as well and uh, it just makes it for an easier time. We all know I can solder. I've showed you a couple of videos, but I'm all about easy when I can be easy. They got little windows on these fittings to make sure that you're fully inserted like your sister enjoys. Or else she's just not going to get to the end and it's going to... Whatever. I don't know where I'm going with that. I've had a couple of my Facebook uh, real shit to... A plumbing group called the plumbing fails and I appreciate you guys having no time in your lives and you taking them and and passing them on because Facebook is the app that pays me the most so whenever someone shares it just it helps me out man I appreciate it I could take a beating mentally verbally and uh, physically so keep it going piggy bank likes it fridge getting ready for that kitchen sinks all done cleared it's as neat as I can get it. Tubulas for you ladies down in Georgia.